administration has begun the process of revoking the deal he made with the national government under Nairobi Metropolitan Services, which included the handing over of key functions such as health services. Sonko said this while presenting the controversial health issues to the Senate Health Committee, claiming that City Hall has been locked out of the county coffers. Musa Salah now reports. I have, myself as the governor, I have been sidelined. The Nairobi County government now says that it has begun the process of terminating the deed in which Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko handed over key functions such as health to the General Mohamed Badi-led Nairobi Metropolitan Services NMS. Presenting some of the contagious issues in the transfer of health functions to NMS, Sonko alleged that the transfer was unprocedural, adding that the public participation ought to have been done before the ratification of the deed of transfer. Sonko has also claimed that he signed the deed under duress and that he has constantly been intimidated by unnamed proxies from State House, maintaining that he will not fall into their trap. The proxies from State House, they stole 63 billion, Mr. Chair, meant for uh, health facilities uh, to various counties. Nothing was delivered. Money was lost, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, what I mean here, the dark days are over. I will not allow anybody to breach the law. I will not allow any intimidations, Mr. Chair, from anyone, Mr. Chair. According to Sonko, his administration has not been given access to the county funds by the National Treasury since he signed the document, rendering his government helpless and failing to pay its pending bills. The Sonko administration claims that a conditional grant amounting to 127 million shillings has been locked up in a special purpose account at the Central Bank of Kenya with an additional grant from the Danish international agency Danida meant to support level 2 and 3 public health facilities being held in the county revenue fund account. Sonko has also alleged that the county is unable to use a further 79 million shillings from the Ministry of Health, claiming that the county finance officers have been locked out of the IFMI system. Up until now, the Nairobi county government has a total of 1.4 billion shillings in debt in pending bills. However, Narrow County Senator Olekina Ledama has blamed the NMS leadership for not claiming responsibility, further urging the Senate committee to come up with a long-lasting solution to City Hall and NMS woes. So I think what, what needs to be done, and this, this is why I keep on insisting that it is us, the Senate, who must sit down and look at this issue. Because Article 187.2 is very clear. Arrangements shall be put in place. It does not say treasury to put in place. Because then if you say treasury to put in place, then it is national government. It is not the, the arrangement between the two levels of government. As Sonko continues to insist that a massive corruption scandal is brewing at NMS, alleging that NMS has single-sourced and awarded Megascope Limited, which was implicated in the Kemsa scandal, a multi-million shilling contract to construct 26 health facilities across Nairobi against the Public Procurement Act, the Senate Health Committee has promised to investigate the matter to find a long-lasting solution. Musa Salah, TV47.